Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with Justin Fan TV, man. Back at another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, all right. So, Thursday, back at you with the injury report. We're not going to do too much talking. We're going to get right into it. So, the Ravens got a lot of good news today. They're going to have a lot of guys that um, maybe we were skeptical about, saying like they're going to play in London. Um, so, good news coming out of today's practice. Guys that have come back from injury, even healthier. So, there's a lot of good news for the Ravens. All right. So, Per, uh, the four participants in practice, Odell Beckham, Jadavion Clowney, Marlon Humphrey, Patrick McCarry, Keaton Mitchell, Morgan Moses, all right? Now, Jadavion Clowney, apparently he was just sick, um, so he bounced back from that. Same thing with Patrick McCarry. Obviously, Patrick McCarry also had the chest injury that he left the Steelers game with, so he bounced back from that, full participant in practice. But the guy on here that was obviously missing from the Steelers game is Morgan Moses. So the Ravens get a chance to get their starting right tackle back and have the opportunity to have their complete complement of offensive linemen, their starting five offensive linemen, um, all healthy for this game versus the Titans. That's big news right there, all right? So also, Keith Mitchell, right? The Ravens haven't officially activated Keith Mitchell onto the 53-man roster. They haven't done that yet. Uh, I guess they're still giving him some time to, to ramp up. Uh, he's still in that 21-day training period that you get after coming off of um, IR. So he's still in that same activation window. I would have to think that his time is coming soon. You know, the Ravens obviously have had issues with, uh, you know, fumbles and things like that. So, you know, you might want to get different kind of running backs in the mix. I think Justice Hill has been good this year. I think Gus Edwards has been good this year. But they could want a third guy in there to get into the mix. So even when uh, Justice and Gus were running well, they still wanted to get Melvin Gordon in the game. They still wanted to get King and Drake in the game. So... Um, I think the Ravens are still looking for a third running back to add to the mix. And Keith Mitchell's a guy that we've been looking at since preseason. So he could be impressed in preseason. We were bummed out when he went to IR. Now that he's uh, back practicing in full, maybe he gets to make this a debut in London. We'll see. All right. Um, now, limited is just one person. That's Geno Stone with his hamstring injury. So that's good news. Um, he, did not, he did not practice the day before. So that's an upgrade for him just being limited today. Um, so he's trending towards playing. That's really, really big news to me, honestly. And I'm going to tell you why right here, right? So watching the Steelers game again, uh, one thing I know is one thing I'm sure every fan that really puts into the game notices is that Marcus Williams is clearly not very healthy right now, okay? Um, he's playing the game with one arm. You know, he has his arm out, his, his left arm out there. He can't even attempt to make tackles with it. He's kind of right around the field with one arm, right? Now, Obviously, the injury he did, it didn't require him to get surgery, but he's not fully comfortable using it just yet. So I don't know if that's going to be a couple of weeks thing. The Ravens said that they're not worried about Marcus Williams and his injury and where he's at right now. It's more of a pain tolerance, comfortability kind of thing. As we get further along, he'll get more comfortable using it. But from what I saw versus the Steelers, uh, it makes me a little worried when you have a guy like Derrick Henry who is very, very hard to bring down all 245, 50 pounds of them. And we have a safety player with one arm. So I, I bring it up right now because if Geno Stone can play and Geno Stone can be, you know, most of his effective self, that's going to be very, very good for the Ravens to take some pressure off of Marcus Williams, right? I think Marcus Williams maybe probably could have went on IR, just give him that four weeks, you know, a couple weeks ago at this point, not, not now. I mean, we're, we're into it now, but... A couple of weeks ago, maybe he should have went on IR just to give him that time to get his, his his arm right, to get comfortable with using it. Because that first game versus the Steelers, he was not very comfortable out there using that that left arm. So um, that's, that'll be something that, you know, to keep an eye on going into this game and how well he moves about around the field. Be very, very interesting to see. All right. Now, there was one guy that did not practice today um, that's on the injury report, and that is Odafe Owe. He is still out with his ankle injury um, at the moment. So, um, you know, the Ravens are at the current situation. That outside linebacker isn't great. Um, but I will say this, Tyus Bowser is practicing uh, on, like, an adjacent field. You know what I mean? So he's still kind of ramping up slowly. Maybe we can get Tyus Bowser back in a couple of weeks. Um, Ojabo made the trip to London, but it was more like, you know, to see his family and things like that. Uh, I don't think he he's not close to coming back to playing, I don't think, um, at, at this moment. Uh, they still haven't decided whether or not he's going to get the surgery or just, you know, go straight up uh, or try to come back. So we'll see what happens with David Ojabo on that. Uh, but the Ravens' outside linebacker situation is not great. Uh, Jadavion Clowney, Kyle Van Noy, uh, and then you got guys like Malik Ham uh, who could come back. So um, they are finding guys. They're trying to find guys to play that position. 
we'll see what happens with it. All right. I know, I know Malik Harrison, um, who's traditionally an inside linebacker, always gives the Ravens pretty good reps to outside linebacker, especially stopping the run. So that's something to look forward to as well. Uh, but the positive news for this is that the people that participated in full for the Ravens is very, it's a very, very long list. And it's a list of key and, and important and impactful players. Um, also, something to look out for is the fact that the field that they're playing at in London is a turf field. And some of the players are not happy about that. They would rather play on grass. So, you know, hopefully the Ravens don't get injured out there because of, you know, the field change as well. You know, a lot of NFL players, that's been, that's been a hot topic over the last couple of years. We've been waiting for a long time. But over the last couple of years especially is that, you know, they want all fields to be grass. But, you know, you're in a different country. You can't control that right now. But um, as far as NFL players, though, they, wanted, they prefer to play on that grass kind of field. So hopefully, because it's turf, there is no injuries out there for the Ravens and uh, they can come back healthy. But um, good news, starting five officers, offensive linemen look like they're going to be out there. Maybe we get some Keaton Mitchell. Odell Beckham is feeling better and better each week. He says he's not going to make any excuses about the ankle, uh, but he is feeling better this week. And, uh, you know, Marlon Humphrey practicing in full. That's, that, that's a good step up, all right? And Patrick McCarry, even though he might not start this weekend, uh, he probably will still play some if they try to bring Morgan Moses back slowly. Maybe they do a rotation kind of thing, right? Or even some six offensive line packages and maybe get Pat McCarry out there. We'll, we'll see what happens on Sunday. Uh, but the Ravens are looking good heading into that. They're looking pretty healthy from what they've been previously in the past. So that's the Ravens injury report for this week. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos, man. And this game room, this is Fan TV. I'm out.